Definition. This is 41 NBC News at Daybreak. Welcome back to Daybreak, folks. Hopefully you're okay there, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> when investigators collect evidence on a crime scene, one of the first steps in learning more about a case and potential suspects is getting a fingerprint. That's what you need. And That's Corporal right. Jimmy Culver with the Bibb County Sheriff's Office shows us how it's done and how investigators work quickly to solve crime. Thank you for joining us this yeah, morning. And Thank this, you guys for having me. Obviously, we have a lot of crime in every area of the country, especially here in Middle Georgia. And one of the first steps is taking a fingerprint, right? That's correct. So how do we do that? How do you go about the steps of making that happen? Well, the first thing, it all starts with communication. First off, uh, the, the citizen has to contact the local uh, sheriff's office, let them know that an actual crime has occurred. Right. Um, once they notify us, a patrolman would arrive on scene and let us know that uh, he would go on scene and access it and uh, see whether or not he would call out an investigator or collect evidence or, or get the crime letter come out. If I were to come out and process a crime scene, I would actually uh, start by looking over the crime scene and I would see uh, something that looks out of order. Uh, say for instance, um, I see a CD lying, lying on the floor and a television has been stolen. So this is for example like a home break in or something like That's that? That's correct, a, home, a, a, a residential burglary. I would go on scene and I would see this on scene. I'm like, well, is this normally, uh, is this normal for the city be, to be laying on the floor? Mm -hmm. And uh, I would go ahead and today I'm going to use a uh, black magnetic powder. Yeah. Okay. This is something different. Uh, and this is the magnetic powder right here that hopefully you guys can see at home. Uh, let's, there it goes. There we, there we go. go. There we go. <laughs> and I would get this and it's magnetic. So you see it picks it up. It's just basically magnetic particles oh, wow. within black particles, uh, black, black powder. And I would process this CD. Now this isn't, ah. a, this isn't a criminal's uh, fingerprint right here. This is <laughs> Corporal Culver's fingerprints right here. That's correct. Oh, okay. And then dust it off. And now, and now you, the fingerprints come out just fine like that. That's wow. Correct. So what is this? What's this for? This is the tool that we'll use. We'll use uh, tape and conduct a tape lift so I can lift the fingerprint. And let's try to hold it up so our viewers can see. I will lift the fingerprint. and put it on the back of a latent fingerprint card. Mm -hmm. That's me lifting the print, and I would put it on the back of a latent card, and I would send this over. If I have a suspect, I would... Uh, uh, I got it for you. There you go. <laughs> there we go. For <laughs> our viewers, there we go. Perfect. And, that, there is a and that would be sent to the crime lab. Something like that would be sent to the crime lab for records purposes and also to try to track down those suspects, right? That's correct. Okay. so. One of the big questions I know that I have is, you know, when you're conducting a crime scene, do you have to revisit constantly to try to collect that evidence? Is it something like a one hit, you know, and one hit and you're done? Or is it something you have to constantly revisit to keep tracking down criminals? A guy uh, that has lots of uh, uh, experience with crime lab, he once told me to always go out. If I have a nighttime uh, uh, crime, I always go out the next morning because you might find, you're more than likely you're going to find more evidence. And I find that time and time again, I find more evidence. Every time I revisit, revisit crime scenes, you're always just looking to, to, to gather in as much evidence as possible because you never have enough evidence. Right. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. That was really cool for a demonstration. A lot of us don't know the, <laughs> the hands-on nitty-gritty, so we really appreciate you. The no benefits problem. of being in forensics, right? Thank you guys for having me. <laughs> and crime. Well, thank you so much. And as always, you if you see anything, anything suspicious, or you want to report a crime, call the Bibb County Sheriff's Office. That number is 751-7500. And now we talk.